Hi everyone, I'm Steve here with David Wright. David Wright is a personal trainer at Fitness for 10 in Carson City, Nevada. That's where he is right now at our studio. Thanks for being here, David. Thanks for having me, Steve. We're going to talk about something that I've talked about a lot. That's workout partners. So first, if you guys like tips for beginners and older people, or you want to learn about the gym, like the video and subscribe. We appreciate it. So um, workout partners, I've talked about this multiple times from my personal perspective. When I was younger, <clears throat> when I was uh, in college sports, I always had a workout partner. I had to, at least one. Um, now, I don't ever use a workout partner. I don't want a workout partner. I don't like working out with people. And there's a reason and I'll get to that, but let's talk about the pros and cons of a workout partner. Yeah, so for me, um, you know, I look at this in a couple of different ways. One from personal perspective, you know, I had a workout partner for about two whole days and then kind of had to figure everything out on my own. So um, one of those is workout partners can be great for some people in terms of Folks that may want to have somebody accompany them to the gym so they're not doing it alone, um, just kind of that intimidation when you first come in factor. Although Steve and I have talked about this, you know, it's one of the most welcoming places, especially, you know, at our gyms, you know, there's a really positive environment here. But, you know, when you walk through the door, you don't necessarily know that yet. So some people will will want to have a workout partner come in with them. Sometimes it's a little more, more fun type of thing, me personally. Um, I don't have a workout partner and kind of to the same as you, Steve, I, I don't necessarily want a workout partner because I have, you know, my mind kind of laser set on what I'm going to do, how many I'm going to do, all the different things. I've got kind of a routine going. So for me, um, workout partner isn't something that I would prefer to have, uh, especially on a regular basis. But um, there are some people who do prefer kind of a small group or at least one person uh, with them. Here's... Here's some huge benefits of having a workout partner. Uh, I've been lifting weights since I was in first grade, you know, trying at least. But here's, here's a couple benefits of having a workout partner. And I always recommend that people try a workout partner if they're having some issues like this. If they, they just don't feel motivated. They want to get to the gym, but they're not feeling motivated enough. Maybe they're lacking. They feel like they're lacking a little discipline. Um, maybe they feel like they're not pushing themselves hard enough. And they, they want to be pushed. They, they want to be more aggressive in the gym. That's when you want to try a workout partner. Why? Well, first of all, now you have a partner that you are committed to. And if David is my workout partner, I have to show up at 10 o'clock. I have to be prompt because that's when I'm meeting him at 10 o'clock and we're going to work out. If I don't do that, I'm letting him down. So now I'm not just letting myself down. I'm letting him down. So I have to be there at 10. That keeps it in my schedule. That keeps a structure for me because it's not just about, it's easy just to let myself down. Oh, I'll just do it tomorrow. But not if you're going to let your workout partner down. Because if I don't show up, David's like, dude, where's my workout partner? Come on, man. You want to do this or not? You know? Mm -hmm. So it, it's a motivator. You also have a spotter. Um, and sometimes you want a spotter. If you're going to go heavier, you're going to lift heavier. Um, you want a spotter. It's a convenient way to have a spotter. And if you want to do some forced reps, you can do that. I don't do that. I don't do anything anymore where I need a spotter. So it all depends on where you are in your journey. So those are a few reasons that you might want to try using a workout partner or finding a workout partner that's at about your level. Um, but for me, I don't want someone yelling at, come on, you can do one more. 
I know I can do one more. I can do four more, but I don't want to do four more. I'm stopping right now for a reason. I know what I'm doing. That's why, and, and I love to go to the gym. I can't wait to get to the gym. I, I'm not, I, I don't, I, I just don't do this. I don't say, well, I'll just go tomorrow. The only time I do that is if I feel my body needs a rest and I shouldn't go to the gym. That's the only reason I don't go because I always want to go. And sometimes I have to hold myself back and say, no, it's better if I don't go. If It's better if I take a couple days off. It's better if I take four days off. But to take a whole week off for me is very difficult. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's it's kind of the same. But, um, you know, I, I essentially take a day off if, you know, you listen to your body, your body's like, hey, you're exhausted. You know, you probably should take some time off. You're sore, whatever the case might be. You're going to know uh, that feeling when you're just like, you know what, it's hard for me not to just go in and maybe lift lighter or do different things. But it's like you do have to take rest. And so for people who are kind of working out together, one of the things is, you know, I've had people tell me, you know, I've, I've come with so-and-so because, you know, I've never been to the gym before. In fact, I've had some clients who I do train together in a small group um, because of that. They came in together. They want to sign up together um, and, and do the training together, which is great because it keeps them kind of motivated to your point where if you have a gym partner that, that you're going with, it is really important to, you know, have that motivation. And that can usually be part of it is I don't want to let that other person down who's there waiting for me. I think one of the most important things is when you do have a, a gym partner that you're going to plan on going with, and if you're going to kind of help that be some of your motivation to continuously, you know, and consistently go to the gym and, and show up at a certain time, make sure that's somebody that uh, that you know that will also be consistent with you. That's kind of the problem that I had at the very beginning of my whole fitness journey was the person I, I had friend of mine and everything knew a lot about the gym was not very consistent. And so it kind of, at first it was great because he was there, you know, five o'clock in the morning with me a um, couple times. And then it was just like, it didn't really work out from there. So, you know, you kind of have to be a motivation and consistency for each other. But if you find that you're with somebody who's really, you know, maybe starts motivated and for whatever reason they start dropping off, you have to find it in yourself too, to be okay to, you know, come and work out by yourself, um, or, I mean, you could find another workout partner, but it's just one of those things. If so-and-so stops coming, that doesn't mean you need to stop coming. Um, you know, come in and do the things that you know how, you know, come in and talk to a trainer or any of those types of things will help. Um, but you know, it's great to have somebody, but again, it's one of those things. If that person kind of falters off, that doesn't mean you have to, you can keep on going and show up and kind of prove to yourself you can do it. And then, you know, make that progress. And then if that person comes back, great. Or if you find a new workout partner, great. Or, you know, you could end up kind of like you and I, Steve, where it's like, okay, I'm, I'm good coming here by myself now at this point. You know, I don't necessarily need anybody. If a friend comes along every once in a while, great. But, you know, other than that, I'm, I'm good and, and can do all this on my own. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, there's um, people that use um, – it's interesting. I think people that use workout partners are um, bodybuilders, old time bodybuilders, and even bodybuilders these days. Why? I think there's two reasons why they like to use workout partners. And sometimes they'll use more than one. They want to be pushed because bodybuilders are, are they're taking their body to the limit a lot. And creativity. You know, Arnold can talk to Franco. Hey, Franco, what do you want to do next? What should we do next for our biceps? You know, and so they have that creativity there where they can do different exercises and kind of work together mm -hmm. day by day on what they're doing. Now, um, if you're an athlete like I was, um, and I, I was trained by one of the best strength coaches in the country at the time in the 80s. Why do you have workout partners there? We're not going to failure very often, but we're working off a percentage of our projected max. So we almost always need a spotter. 
So that's why in college, I always had a workout partner because I needed a spotter. And the person I was working out with had similar goals. They always needed a spotter. And you're doing uh, more dangerous lifts when you're lifting heavy and it's free weight and you, you just, you wouldn't do the things that we did without a spotter. Maybe you're doing squats and maybe you're sometimes, you know, my coach would say, well, I can do more. I don't want you to do more. I designed your program the way I designed it on purpose. So I only want you to do six reps. Don't do seven. So you would intentionally stop at six because it's the design of the program, but you still need a spotter. So it all depends on where you, where you are, um, what your preferences are, how well you know your body. And like for me and for like David right now, I know what I'm trying to accomplish in the gym. And the reason I, don't, I really don't want to work out partners because I don't want anybody interfering with me. I don't want anyone interfering with the choices and the decisions I make every day. And my workout is not specifically written down exactly every day. I may do one less set. I may do one more set. I may do two more reps. I may be two less reps, depending on how I'm feeling as I'm going. So uh, those are my final thoughts. And uh, uh, hopefully that helps all of you out there determine whether you're want to try a workout partner. We gave you the reasons why it's a good idea to try it and why I don't like one. So uh, David, you're about to do a competition. Uh, David does not look like he looks like in that t-shirt. Uh, he looks much different. So if they want to follow you on social media and see what you're doing, how do they do that? Yeah, Steve, so you're right. This t-shirt does not really do me justice at the moment, but um, I have uh, my Instagram at David Wright underscore fitness where people can look at my fitness journey. And I'm just less than four weeks out right now from the Tahoe show on August 10th. So um, there's some uh, different progress photos along the way there, kind of showing my different uh, changes throughout the weeks that I've been training for that. Um, and then I have my personal training page at uh, right fitness training on Instagram as well. All right, David, we'll see you next time. Thanks, Steve.